What's up the internet? What's up everybody? What's up our subscribers? What's up you who is watching this video? Welcome to our YouTube channel. Now guys, we are so sorry for the silence. We apologize for the silence. And before I start with what we are going to be doing today, I want to take a minute to plead and apologize to each and every viewer to each and every consistent viewer to each and every subscriber of our youtube channel about the quality of the audio of previous videos right now from henceforth you be you will be having the best audio experience and we are sincerely apologizing for the inconvenience with the sound now guys on behalf of my team, I come here before you to sincerely apologize for the quality of the audio of previous videos. Now, what are we going to be doing today? Now, we will be doing something really interesting. Today, we are starting a new build, right? Now, what will this build be consisting of? We will be building a tutor clone completely with Vue.js, Tailwind, and and probably integrating Firebase for tweets on the back end with setting up authentication with Firebase, Firebase authentication, of course. This would all depend. Like, if you guys are in for it, we will do it together. Now, guys, before I start with what we will be doing in this build series, I want to tell you, you are awesome you are awesome yeah you are amazing if you have been coming back to this youtube channel and you have been consistent liking our videos subscribing and sharing you are amazing now for you who hasn't subscribed yet please do not hesitate do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you would receive a notification each time we post a new video now guys let's head straight forward to it you know what they say talk is cheap show me the code now in this first series we would be installing our application right so this is basically what we are going to be building this twitter is the original Twitter and it is by no way what I've built I haven't built it yet like I was saying we are going to be do the, we are going to be doing this together right now guys bear with me we will try our best and I'll be trying my best as much as possible to be posting every weekend every Friday the progress of the build so you guys don't feel left behind now this is exactly what we will be building now it's true it's not going to be the same thing like the original twitter we have we would try as much as possible to have like the same thing you know like the profile section and all of that by the way if you are not following me yet on twitter feel free to follow me on twitter i'm on twitter as footy codes and I would love connecting with developers. I love connecting with people and I love sharing my knowledge. This is this is who I am. For those who know me, that's who I am. Now, guys, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to initialize a Vue.js application using the command. I believe you guys know this already, right? Now, a quick note, guys. This tutorial or this build series is for complete beginners you should not feel that because you're a beginner you are going to be left out or you will be left behind no we are taking this step by step and I will be explaining every single thing I do throughout this build so if you have any questions you have anything to share you have any suggestions please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below guys I am so excited about this build. I mean, like I was telling you guys, I have not yet this. We are going to be building it together, right? This is the original Twitter. Now, let's 
initialize our let's create our Vue.js application with the command view create um nope view create Twitter clone okay let's get straight to it so I'm going to be using view 2 for this specific tutorial though you could use view 3 doesn't really matter so I am initializing my Vue.js project guys I am so excited about this build this is going to be insane we are going to be doing this together and I can't wait to share with you guys what I will learn throughout this build and I can't wait to hear from you guys what you have learned and what you are wanting or what you want to share with me or with the code we brought team in this build now while this is loading we just have to wait I'm just going to pause to pause this and come back when it's done awesome we have just initialized our Vue.js project so I'm going to just cd into that directory ls so I can be able to see whatsoever thing um, the command we just hit has generated for us so like this is our boilerplate now what we are going to need for this specific build is we are going to need a couple of dependencies right so the first thing we'll need well before we start with that I'll just hit npm run serve so we can see our app you know we can have a look at what it has generated while this is actually loading I want to let you guys know what we will be using throughout this build now notice how I don't know entirely the dependencies we will be using throughout this build so I'm going to give you guys the base or the basic um, dependencies or the basic um, dev dependency we will be using throughout this build now we will be using view router for routing and going throughout pages and we will as well be using tailwind css yes we will be using tailwind css so we have our work easier we would not have to write a lot of css and all of that and if you have been wanting to learn tailwind css this is the right moment let's go now here we have already our app is running so I might want to install those dependencies before actually start starting to work on the project so I'll just hit um, install I want to install Tailwind view add I'm going to install like as, as, um, as a dependency so there's this command there are a lot of ways you can actually add Tailwind to a VGS based project, but I love this command because it automatically generates your Tailwind.config files and imports all of all of the studios work for you. So you're going to use this command view add Tailwind view add Tailwind. Boom. Awesome. Now Tailwind is installing. We'll just have to wait. So you have three options you can either do nothing or you can set up your minimal tailwind.config.js you can generate the tailwind.config.js with a minimal configuration or with the full configuration generally I love to go for minimal configuration so what whatsoever thing you choose it doesn't really matter depending on um, if you want to set up uh, the full configuration of tailwind in the tailwind.config the JS folder or you don't want to set up anything if you click on none then you would have to set it set it up yourself but if you click on minimal it's going to set up the minimal requirement the minimum requirements needed for you to be able to have your tailwind up and running so it's setting it up we we'll just have to wait a little bit so if you notice if you notice our if you notice that our package.json you notice that there are there is post CSS 7 that has been installed as well so this is something when I was reading through the documentation adding um, Tailwind CSS to um, a Vue.js based project you actually need post um, CSS I'm not quite sure why but you need this to be able to use Tailwind and specifically this version because um, 
post CSS um, 8 will not work with um, this current version of um, tool in which I'm using. So I, I, I kind of tried that and I, I kept on getting error and error and it was just, it was just a mess. So you want to have this, if you follow these steps, you should be able to have this. Now here, you should be able to see the tailwind.config.js file. Now in this file, you have your purge. In this purge, pretty much it's basically um, sort of like, if I remember quite well, it's sort of like remove the unused classes, like all of the unused classes from your, your project and like purge it, you know? And pretty much that's it. In the, in, at the level of your DAC mode here, it's this is why I love Tailwind. Honestly, it comes with the DAC mode automatically. And your team object here is where you can set up your team, right? You can set up whatsoever thing like a, um, a brown team, red team, I don't know, whatsoever thing like as you wish, right? Now, if I look into my source, assets and I enter there, I should be able to see this file which was created as a result of, resin, of running um, view add tailwind as a result of initializing, you know, when we said we wanted to initialize the base, um, the minimal, the minimum file requirements or the minimal files required for the project, basically installing tailwind actually. So if I look into this, you should be able to see these three lines. So what basically this three line is, is you're basically importing, you're, you're, you're sort of like importing the base, importing um, Tailwind components and utilities. That's just, just all. And if you look, if you go back to the UI, you shouldn't be able to see anything. So now that we have already installed Tailwind, let's make sure it actually works, right? Let's make sure Tailwind we just installed, it's installed properly and it works on our project. So I'm just pretty much basically going to um, add something Fortier, for example. I'm going to add a text and I'm going to say class and I would say BG um, green and I'll set it to 500. All right. So if I refresh this, it seems not to work. Okay. Hold on. If it's not working, I might want to restart my server. Probably that's a reason why. So I'm restarting the server so it can, you know, compile everything again. Awesome. Awesome. So we just had to restart our server for it to work. So if you have your, we have like a background or background is uh, green and blah 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 now we can set maybe the text to be white for example text to be white and we are going to have our text here is going to turn to white so we have our tailwind functional in our project and we are ready to go now guys i made mention of the fact that if you were new to tailwind or if you don't have any idea of what tailwind is i'm going to leave a link to the tailwind documentation down below so you can have a look at it trust me Tailwind is not that complicated. It is, it is chicken fish. It's easy. So I always like to say, if I can do it, then you can do it as well. So this is pretty much it. We have our Tailwind working and functional in our project. Now, the next thing we are going to have to install is view router. So if I want to install view router, I'll just hit the command view add. I'm installing it as a plugin. So I'm going to add view. I'm going to say view add um, router. All right. And I hit enter. And I want to say yes here. Um, I don't mind if I haven't committed yet. And I'm just simply going to wait for view router to be set up on my project. Yes, I want history mode. So guys, now that we are done installing view router, we are pretty much ready to go. Now, this is all we need to actually move forward with this build. Thank you guys so much for watching this. See you in the next one. So